Hi guys, welcome back. And today I want to talk about Roomba. Uh, we will do a small routine with from uh, basic steps so you can practice and dance a little bit more consistently at home. So first thing we'll do is just a simple basic step. Actually, I will step back to the camera so you can follow me. We'll go with the right foot to the side. It will be count slow or four one. And we'll go forward with left foot two, go back three and go to the side four one. One time back, forward to the side, and forward, back to the side, back, forward to the side, forward, back to the side. Okay, so when we're going to the side, it's count slow, and we're going forward, quick, going back, quick to the side, count slow, and we repeat the same quick, quick, slow and quick, quick, slow, and quick, quick, slow, and quick, quick, slow, okay, so uh, very quickly, hip action, as soon as I'm landing on the leg, I, my hip is creating a rotation, so I'm turning around my spine, I'm not going this way, I'm turning my hip, going to the side, and my hip arrives later after I made the step and then I create rotation same rotation as I did earlier preparing my leg to go forward place the foot shift my weight and then hip turns step back shift my weight and then I create hip rotation which helps me to move my free leg I will go to the side and again my hip turns and brings my foot go back and then hip rotation go forward and then hip rotation go to the side and then hip rotation so my hip follows my body movement and it's not arriving in the same time okay so my hip comes to the leg with a delay step and then hip step and then hip step and then hip so that was our basic step from there what we will do it's New Yorker of course over so you can go to the side and while we are making the side step we're creating a rotation 90 degree step forward rock back like we did in the basic turn and go to the side turn to the left 90 degrees step forward back to the side and forward back to the side and forward back to the side same thing back Right foot to the side, slow, and quick, quick, slow, and quick, quick, slow, and quick, quick, slow, and quick, quick, slow. So what is important while you're doing rotation that your foot, standing foot will turn before you will make a step. You're making side step your hip arrives creates rotation and hip will help you to turn that foot before you make a step try to avoid those situations when your foot let's do this way will stay and you will make a step make sure that the left foot will turn before you will make a step okay same thing whether you will go back i did two three my right foot will turn and help me to make that side step don't just go to the side and leave the foot help yourself with that foot to turn your body now left foot turns step and right foot turns step and right foot turns again okay same hip action it's delaying so you don't need to rush when you're stepping to the side your body moves there first and then your hip arrives and that hip will create rotation step forward then your body hip step back body and as soon as hip goes into that right leg i start turning myself now left foot left hip arrives and creates rotation foot forward back i'm staying on the left leg and turning to go to the side and two three four and two three four so that was new yorker 
Now what we will do, it's hand to hand. A lot of people uh, get confused with those two steps because it's very similar but we're going in opposite direction. So instead of going forward, we'll go back. Movement to the side, our beginning portion. Then we will turn and we will go back. So we'll turn in opposite direction from New Yorker. Okay, let me step back to you. So we'll go right foot to the side and now instead of turning to the right, I will do rotation to the left. And then I will go back step forward now I will turn on the right leg with my right hip and step to the side turn to the right I will go back hip step forward turn to the side and two and three and four and two and three four and two and three and four and two and three and four Okay, so that same idea in terms of the hip movement and placing your body weight. As soon as you make the step, your body arrives, gradually pushing your step from the standing leg, and then your hip goes there. As soon as hip arrives, I creating rotation. So all of this helps me to make a nice and smooth rotation. And then look, when I go back, I will still bend my front knee with pulling my toe on the floor and then step back straightening my knee before I will shift my weight. Now I will put heel down on the front leg, shift my weight forward, pushing from the back leg. Now hip arrives and that's what creates rotation. Step to the side. Now I will push myself from the right foot, create rotation, rotation with the hip right here. You see I'm twisting my lower part and then I will bend my knee, pull my toe with arch, straight arch and then go back, straight ankle, step forward. Now when I'm coming forward, don't just lean with your body. Use the back leg, push that heel off the ground to make that step and go to the side. And two and three and four 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 so that was uh, hand to hand uh, and now we will continue with spot turn so spot turn we'll start with the same step we'll go to the side actually step back to you step to the side now we will turn like we did in New Yorker step forward and we will continue rotation same direction step forward and keep turning to the right now left foot to the side now we start rotation to the left we'll go forward turn to the left forward turn to the left and step to the side so now we're creating a full turn full turn step and two and three and four and two and three and four and two and three and four okay so what I like to suggest for people from beginning it's to keep the right toe on the floor while you're turning on the left leg okay left foot on the floor to left toe on the floor while you're turning so it will work like an anchor to what you can come back easily to make a next step then if you pass that level and you want to practice your unwanted steps what will be but you don't want to travel a lot what will be nice for you is to practice how to brush your feet step brush and make a step so while I'm turning I brushing my foot and making next step so the brush happens while I'm creating rotation so by the time I finish my turn my feet already together now I can make a next step and continue here too but don't forget if you start doing that you have to brush your feet everywhere so I started here step I'm brushing here step I'm brushing here and then go again so brush happens every time when I'm um, coming through one leg coming through the other step brush step brush step and step brush step brush step brush step brush step brush step every single step 
I have to bring my ankles together and one leg will be with the straight ankle and comes straight to the standing leg so I feel my heel touching the leg and then I will make a step that's what is important okay so now we have four steps basic New Yorker hand to hand and spot turn let's put it together we'll repeat each step four times let's do it with the right foot to the side four one two three four one two three four one two three four one and the last one and start New Yorker and two three four one and two three four one and two three four one and the last one two three hand to hand turn to the left and two three four one and two three four one and two three four one and last one two three spot turn and two three four one 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 and then you can continue from again let's do it one more time i will face the camera and i will come uh slow quick quick and slow quick quick slow and quick quick slow and quick quick slow and last one and going to a new york rotate on your standing leg quick quick slow and quick quick slow and quick quick slow and quick quick slow we do hand to hand and quick quick slow and quick quick slow and quick quick slow and quick quick spot turn and quick quick slow and quick quick slow and two more quick slow and last one quick quick slow and from the beginning quick quick slow I did demonstrate it with hands but if you're not comfortable to do it it's okay you can do it just with your legs I just want to show that what it can happen if you do it full on action okay thank you so much for watching please join me for the next lesson bye